university might be really tough for some people and for others it is impossible to attend because you need to spend three four years just to get a bachelor degree and it's still not an option for some people financially but in this video i'm going to share with you eight ways to find a work without a university degree and probably one of the famous and first one is being um, an English teacher. Uh, yeah, uh, there are a lot of options to um, for for this uh, way of uh, earning money. Um, yeah, uh, in maybe in the uh, short term, uh, it's pretty good way, um, and it's almost uh, near to the um, salary when you uh, start your work uh, right after uh, university. Um, but for some countries. Uh, it is not possible to get uh, a long-term uh, teaching job because of their uh, nationality. Um, but I find it pretty interesting to start uh, your uh, work as an English teacher. If you have a, um, re some requirements uh, like a TOEFL exam or ILTS, it's also a good thing and you can start earning more from that. But of course, um, it's not the best option for a long term, in my opinion. And uh, second one uh, is IT specialist or uh, technician for some uh, startups and companies, um, mostly uh, digital. And uh, they work uh, on uh, websites and some uh, software. So uh, if you have a good skill uh, on that, of course, it's you can earn a lot, but if you're just a beginner, um, yeah, and probably it's uh, mostly like a part-time job, but uh, it all depends on your um, skill, right? So that's why I consider uh, IT specialist as a good way. Um, if you have uh, your own uh, computer and you can start um, providing value for uh, companies and for some individuals by creating websites and services for them. Uh, yeah, uh, app developers also um, still increasing. Uh, yeah, but in the future, I, I think AR and other services might increase um, more than two, three times. So that's why uh, if you're learning some programming, please continue that because in Japan, it's still uh, a good uh, and pretty um, high demand for, for this kind of uh, specialists. Next one is service stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, travel uh, business in Japan is huge. And uh, if you want to work on that, uh, you might uh, find some um, job offers in uh, hotels or uh, restaurants. And uh, you might start from just, uh, you know, um, small uh, and uh, and you can grow to uh, managers. And you can still earn pretty good money. And uh, some people uh, in Japan actually um, just uh, work on um, like this kind of service uh, jobs full time. Uh, yeah, and um, those um, provide a big value for tourists as well. And uh, of course, you need a little bit of uh, Japanese uh, if you work on, uh, in kitchen. But when you do actual service, um, yeah, you need to speak uh, fluent Japanese. Um, but mostly, it's not a uh, one of the most uh, you know important requirements for uh, service business. But of course, if you uh, know more, you can earn more. So that's why um, consider uh, studying learning Japanese. Uh, it's very important in Japan because no one really um, speaks in English, right? Next option is uh, translation work. And by leveraging on your uh, you know, knowledge and uh, language ability, you can actually start uh, translating from um, uh, different languages to um, Japanese or to English from your native language. So that's why, um, yeah, as I said, uh, tourism is still growing, uh, it's still booming in Japan. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the 2020 Olympic Games is uh, near. So that's why uh, just uh, consider uh, translation work as a um, way to earn a little bit of uh, more cash. 
but of course it can be your uh, full-time job if you find a uh, right person and uh, right people uh, to work with uh, full-time so that's why I consider this as a, a pretty uh, decent way uh, to start your uh, career next one uh, might be a little bit uh, tough but it's actually a good way uh, to earn uh, in Japan uh, it's actually a construction worker and uh, yeah uh, it's tough uh, job but you can earn uh, starting from a uh, hundred dollars uh, in one day so yeah uh, they pay um, mostly hourly but uh, if they see uh, you are a good worker uh, you might get uh, a better offer uh, for that starting from 300 going to 500,000 uh, yen uh, around uh, 4,500 uh, dollars uh, you can be a construction worker and in the future you can grow to a more uh, specialist and uh, you know a better way to be in a sustainable uh, work environment third way to start your uh, job in Japan is military personnel and um, it's actually only for Americans um, because uh, in Japan they still have uh, American base um, and uh, yeah it might be um, very um, interesting to learn about Japanese culture by um, you know staying up and settling in in Japan but yeah um, there might be some uh, disadvantages um, you know it's a new culture but uh, it's a new place um, and sometimes you might face uh, discrimination because you work um, in a base but you know it's it happens uh, rarely so I don't think you need to uh, worry about that but it's an option you know uh, if you mm, work uh, if you want to plan to staying in Japan it's a good option if you're of course American next one is a um, broker and uh, yeah of course uh, you can start mm, anywhere in the world but when you're in uh, this uh, environment in Japan uh, you might do uh, more research and you might find uh, more problems and more uh, things to learn so that's why I uh, find um, broker and uh, those kind of financial uh, schemes and financial um, stocks uh, pretty interesting way to uh, start uh, living in Japan and if you're good at finance please consider uh, being a um, broker Mm, yeah, and um, if you're already good at that, uh, why not to start your own business? And the uh, first one, and probably best in my opinion, is being entrepreneur. Of course, it's not for everyone. And uh, by being entrepreneur, uh, you're responsible for uh, almost everything. If you fail, uh, then your company fails, and um, you know you basically have all those. Uh, responsibilities but also there are a lot of chances uh, of being entrepreneur in Japan uh, even though um, there are a lot of requirements uh, with a visa and staying in Japan is pretty uh, hard if you um, if you're doing um, some uh, regular work from 9 to 5 of course you can get working visa but for entrepreneurs they get different types of visa so that's why it might be tough uh, in the beginning but in the long term I think there are a lot of things that you might start uh, in Japan and we're also uh, working on that and uh, I will mm, keep you updated uh, with uh, news and things that we are doing and uh, maybe we can be uh, partners in the future who knows right so that's why uh, consider subscribing to my channel to find out more about saving uh, making and uh, living in Japan um, and being uh, financially independent so if you like this video please uh, subscribe if you're still not subscribed and uh, leave your comment uh, what other uh, jobs uh, you might find in Japan uh, without a college degree yeah it might be tough but you know it's your uh, journey it's your life it's your path you don't need to follow what everyone else does so that's why um, please um, don't really 
uh, I don't really recommend you to just follow your dreams, but uh, build up your uh, wealth from the beginning. Uh, and yeah, uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.